Όταν έχεις περισσότερο χρόνο, μπορείς να αποκτήσεις και περισσότερες εμπειρίες. Να δοκιμάσεις περισσότερες εναλλακτικές μεθόδους γυμναστικής. Δινιάσα, αστάνγα, χάθα, για να ενεργοποιήσεις περισσότερα τσάκρα. Να ανακαλύψεις ότι στην προηγούμενη σου ζωή ήσουν βασιλιάς. Τον ζω. Και στην τωρινή, το παιδί λάστιχο. Κάπως έτσι και φυσικά με περισσότερες ώρες διαλογισμού, εσύ και το περίσσιο ταλέντο σου να σπάσετε εύκολα το ρεκόρ γκίνες με την ευληγησία σας. Γιατί όταν έχεις περισσότερο χρόνο, έχεις και περισσότερη ευκολία. Winbank από την Τράπεζα Πυραιός. Time Saver. Κέρδισε και εσύ χρόνο με τα Winbank Apps. Uh, my name is Ed Cook, and I am a, a grandmaster of memories. So I'm a, I'm a memory uh, memory man, and um, I run a company called Memrise. And what we're trying to do is teach languages by um, crowdsourcing the world's imagination to make learning fun. In some ways, there's no such thing as memory. So. We tend to think of memory as like, like an engine in a car, or um, or like the wings on a plane. And so you might we think, well, one person has either got a big memory or a small memory or or something like that. But this is not true because memory is part of everything we do. It's part of how we see. It's part of how we hear. It's part of how we remember. Of course, it's part of how we think. Um, and everybody fundamentally is brilliant at memory but not everybody is brilliant at remembering because to remember you have to experience something as interesting you have to experience something as vivid you have to care the art of memory is to get good at remembering the things you're not interested in So people often associate some of the senses with memory more than others. And smell is the sense people often say, oh, I have a very, um, very strong memory for smell, or smell is very connected to my memory. And this is both true and, uh, and false, because um, smells tend to produce very emotional memories. Um, and memories linked to particular points in time. And so it's not a very accurate form of memory. It's more the memory for an epoch, for memory for a time and not for a particular thing. Um, it's the same with a voice. Sometimes you hear a voice or a song from the past, a song you haven't heard for 15 years, and it takes you back to a time in your life, but not to a particular moment. Vision is different. It tends to take you back to a particular moment in your life. So if you see, um, I don't know, a, um, I don't know, a particular camel, that might bring you back to, oh, I saw a camel like that the day, I don't know, I first jumped out of a balloon or whatever, but it's more specific. People sometimes think that one sense is linked to memory more than another, but really all of our senses are, are, are linked to memory and in a very fundamental way, because um, in order to recognize something in the world, you have to already know what it is. Sometimes I like to think of memory and perception as the same thing. There are a few things you can do um, which, um, which are very simple. Um, they don't require a lot of effort, but they make a massive difference to memory. Um, and the first is quite boring, it's pay attention. The second thing you can do is connect memory to, connect what you're learning to what you already know. So two important things which anyone can do to help remember are to, um, to pay attention um, very important, and then make connections, because memories just are connections, and make connections. A third really good thing is to repeat things. So we remember things which are important, and important things happen again. So 
if I, if somebody is part of my life, I will see them 30 times a month or whatever. And of course, I'm going to remember them. That repetition is very important. And not only does it help your memory, but it also tells your memory that this is something which is important. But I think this makes the mistake of thinking of memory as storage. Now, humans have never been good at remembering. Like, um, I, I have uh, supposedly one of the best memories in the world, and I can remember perhaps, say, a thousand numbers in an hour. A digital watch can remember a million numbers in a second. Humans have never been good at storage in terms of the amount of data. What we're good at is having lots of different kinds of information in our minds and then being able to interfuse it, to make metaphors, to use it in action and in thought and in imagination. And so I think that the fundamental role of memory is, is never going to change. Um, we're always going to, memory is always going to be a part of our thought and our imagination and our perception of the world. And so I don't think in some ways that technology is very relevant to that. Um, in fact, I actually think people's memories are getting better because of modern technology. I think what's actually happening is that we're remembering different things. and We're, we're remembering way, way more. So um, people watch thousands of videos and photos and articles now in a year. Um, we're absorbing more information than we have ever absorbed before. And the way we remember that information is often we remember the essence of its meaning and we remember where it can be found. Or we actually just remember it more precisely. It's incredibly frequently I forget something really stupid. So I am a master forgetter of keys. I always forget my keys. Um, I, um, when people, my mother often asks me to take something out of the oven in like 45 minutes time, I will almost always forget. Uh, I, um, I sometimes forget other things as well. And to me, this is not surprising at all because memory is about attention. That's a fundamental thing. Um, and I know that I don't pay attention to some things and I do pay attention to other things. So those are the things I remember and those are the things I'm likely to forget. So I'm like anybody. But um, I tell you what's quite fun is training yourself to, um, to change your habits using these memory techniques. So with, um, with my keys, I've trained myself to think of my keys as um, a little pet. Um, so in my pocket or whatever, so that when I reach for it, I tend to be softer and I tend to pay attention to where I put my keys. And with that act of imagination, I lose my keys less often.